Hello, my dear students. Let us start with the chapter one, physical world. This physical world, we are going to discuss about the contents of what is physics. So the definitions of physics. The next it is one point two, scope and excitement of physics. Next it is one point three, physics, technology, and society. how physics technology and society are related and the last fundamental forces in nature there are four types of fundamental forces and also nature of physical laws laws of conservations we are going to discuss in this chapter so mainly the physics means what it is physics uh, study about the galaxy or the force or the nuclear physics or the electricity or in the newton's third law applied in a rocket launching cases and if it is an electricity or the communication system or it is a thermodynamics and electromagnetism so these all are the branches of physics so this is the sample of part of the physics what we are going to study under the next we'll see the before going to discuss about what is physics let us see the science so what is science theory formulas laws and everything so that the science which is everything means what you see around us that will be the science so here the word science originates from the latin word sciencia so the word science originates from the latin word sciencia which means that to know which means that to know so here in sanskrit we can call it as a vigyan we will see that the definitions of science so what is science simple science is a systematic attempt to understand natural phenomena in as much detail and depth as possible very simple it is a systematic attempt to understand the natural phenomena what are the natural phenomena is happening so we have to attempt that natural phenomena in as much detail and depth as possible for example the fall apple fall from a tree so why it is coming down not going up like that so as much detail and depth we have to go if you are seeing here it's a thunderstorm just like lightning is happening why this lightning is happening and why this charges comes from that cloud to ground so these things we have to study under science and science we can also define like this science means exploring experimenting and predicting from what we see around us so simple way exploring what will be see it is experimenting and predicting we have to predict and we have to do the experiment and exploring means explanations and everything so the simple way here it is a an experiment is that so the optical beam is that so the f the f coming out from the lens it will be we are getting the inverted image that means f is reverse why this inverted image is getting after it come out from the lens so this will be the experimenting purpose and we have to predict that why this inverted image is coming so that is about a science and science is ever dynamic which is ever dynamic there is no final theory in science there is no final theory in science and no unquestioned authority among scientists for example there is no final theory in science means the about an atom about the structure of atom structure of atom initially dalton theory comes next j j thomson's next rutherford next bohr atom model next vector atom model like that it continues so there is no final theory about the structure of atom likewise here we can say that science is ever dynamic there is no 
final theory about this so which is our dynamic next we will see the branches of science so what are the branches are there in under science there are mainly two branches are there in science namely physical science and biological science one is physical science and another one is biological science so you already know the physical science which is related to that a physics and the chemical reactions these things and biological science about an dna or something like that so physical science simple which deals with the study of properties of non living things this includes physics and chemistry so very simple physical science means the study about the non living things the properties of non living things so the on for example the wood it is the table is the chair is the so these all are non living things and study about this is we can call it as a the physical science so the physics and chemistry are under physical sciences mainly the biological science another one is biological science which deals with the study of properties of living things so the study of properties of the living things is we can call it as a biological science mainly which includes the botany and zoology just like study about the animals trees like that that is about the biological science now the branches of science we can see that the physics chemistry biology earth science space science like that these all are some branches of science now we'll see that in the science there will be a scientific method the one particular way of study the science so that is particularly the scientific method very simple the definition of scientific method is the procedure used to understand natural phenomena so that is one particular procedure is that to study the natural phenomena or we can have to understand the natural phenomena the this involves the following steps the scientific method involves the following steps these are one is systematic observations initially there will be a systematic observations for example apple fall so here what happened systematic observation so why apple is coming down from the tree means towards earth that is systematic observation next controlled experiments so that controlled experiments means take an apple and just to drop it either it is coming down or going up we have to check and also which experiment is performed under a vacuum in in a vacuum chambers we have to study because of the air molecule it is coming down likewise so it's a controlled experiment next qualitative and quantitative reasoning next mathematical modeling for example the force experienced by the freely falling object is mass into acceleration due to gravity because of f is equal to m into g this is the mathematical modeling and prediction and verification of theories thank you let's continue in the next video session